Scientists around the world are working to develop COVID-19 vaccines, including many here in San Diego. But in order to test their effectiveness, volunteers are needed to help in the fight. And joining us now is Stella Sexton, who's currently in a vaccine trial. Stella, thank you so much for joining us today. Hi, Phil. Hello from Lancaster County. Good to see you. Now, this is in Pennsylvania. You're participating in Inovio's trial, of course, Inovio based here in San Diego. Tell us why you got involved. Well, you know, like many people, I'm sure I was sitting at home in uh, April and May and trying to help my kids through school, shopping for my grandparents who are in their 90s and unfortunately live in a retirement community where there have been COVID deaths. And I was very scared for them. My grandfather just turned 93 and I just wanted to be able to give him a hug. And um, I felt a duty to help, but I didn't know how. So one day I just saw a link on my health system saying that they were looking for healthy volunteers for a COVID-19 vaccine study. And I just knew right away that this was my duty to at least try and see if I could be screened to help. So walk us through this process. How did you qualify for this trial? Well, it's a very thorough process, and that's what I want everybody to understand. They are extremely careful, and these researchers will exclude you for even the tiniest thing. So the first visit that you go through is really just going through, it's about an hour of just going through the informed consent. So you meet with the lead researcher, they talk about all of the possibilities of things that could happen, they make sure they explain it in plain language, and then you sign everything um, that goes along with that so you really understand the second visit is an extremely thorough physical, probably the most thorough I've ever had. Um, and again, they're just looking for anything that would disqualify you because um, they want you to be perfectly healthy before they put that um, vaccine that they're testing into you. So then it's actually the third visit where you go back, if, assuming you've cleared all those other things. Um, and there's a picture right there that I was vaccinated for uh, the first time. So, so that was on June 8th. Mm -hmm. And it's I, I they're just incredibly careful and incredibly caring. And I just feel like I'm in really good hands. Well, you know, you're putting your health on the line essentially here. How are you feeling since you've been starting this trial? I feel great. Um, I will say honestly that the very first day after the first dose that I was given, I had a little bit of fatigue. It was almost like the feeling that I sometimes get after a flu shot where I felt a little more tired. But I was still able to go about my day normally. And ever since then, I mean, my injection site has been fine. And I went back on um, Wednesday for a booster. And I haven't really felt any effects at all from the booster. And how many more times do you have to go back? So from here on out, it's just blood draws. They mm -hmm. want to study my antibodies and see um, if I'm you know, making antibodies, which fingers crossed I am, I won't know if it works for me until they publish the results in a scientific journal. So I have to continue to social distance and do everything else, but I do go back about six more times, I think, over the course of the next year, so they can continue taking blood and seeing if I'm continuing to make antibodies. You know, there are some critics out there. Uh, how are you responding to them? Well, I have to say, everybody's really been extremely kind. Um, if I'm sure there are a lot of vaccine critics out there, but they haven't run into me yet. I created an Instagram to document my journey. It's at Stella Vaccinates, and everybody on there has just been extremely kind. And I just, again, have to say that if everyone could see what I've seen in terms of how careful these university researchers are who run these trials on behalf of the pharmaceutical companies and how objective they are and how they really put our safety first. They're not in it for profit. They don't get paid more if it's successful or not successful. Um, they just really care about us and they care about ending the pandemic. Very quickly, how can others get involved? Well, obviously, um, I, from what I understand, all around the country, they're going to be different uh, companies are going to be trying their vaccines starting in July and August. So the best thing to do is go to clinicaltrials.gov and you can search your local area and see what COVID-19 trials are in your area. All right, Stella Stexton, we really wish you the best of luck with all this. Can't wait thank to see how so it much. turns out. And again, thank you for joining us. And as she mentioned, to look for a trial that may be enrolling in our area, all you have to do is go to clinicaltrials.gov.